Hello, doctors. Uh, I know you have completed your exam and I think you are relaxing now. Uh, but, you know, we have to, uh, I have collected all the questions in uh, microbiology. So I want to discuss it. Please don't feel bad. I know most of you guys done great. That's what I am hearing. And even while discussing, there are a few questions you felt like, ah, it's not easy question, many case mistake, kiya. don't worry. Every one of us, we do that. Even the best, brilliant students will make mistake in that. Only thing is, is we are going to learn because you are definitely you're going to clear this time. And even if it not was, doesn't matter, you're going to read it. You're going to only change, you know, how to, you do, you don't keep it simple. Whatever you're reading, make it an easy way to read. That's the way you're going to do it. I mean, upcoming uh, your PG exam, minus it, or whatever, whatever exam. Okay. Uh, so that's what. So let's discuss. Uh, a lot of questions have come from micro too. So we will just see. Uh, we have only collected. Uh, we didn't get complete uh, uh, the uh, question cutting. Only we got some clues, whatever question, where it is asked. So clear, proper one will be made later. The questions and the answers will be made separately. Now we'll only just recall questions with the answers. Okay. So let's do our best now. So the first question here, what they've asked was this question regarding GRDR. GRD question is always expected. You guys know that, right? GRD question is one question you can always expect in the exam. So it was uh, said that in uh, uh, GRD was given and then the options were all like given Ficora root cause diarrhea, falling leaf, four pair of flagella, tennis racket. Everything was right. Okay, tennis racket happened. Everything was right. If you remember in our discussion, this is the way you're going to remember. When you talk about uh, GRD, uh, we always said that GRD, this is, this is Gia. Okay, remember this vegetable Gia. This one, some like, some they don't like. Okay, so what it, what we are doing is that you know they, like it's me. Okay, you know what I do? I take my tennis racket and I, you know what I do? The tennis racket. So I'm just, you know, hitting this gear with my tennis racket. Okay, I'm hitting it. So it is falling down. Okay, gear is gear. Yeah, this is with tennis racket. I'm hitting it. Okay, so tennis racket appearance. Okay, tennis racket appearance because you see here it is exactly like a tennis racket, right? With the two eyes. You know, and there are four pair of flagella also, you can see. Okay, right? So these are the things. Okay, so to, uh, the four pair of eight flagellas with the two nucleus and all there. So tennis racket also, you don't. Why I say when I, I hit the gear, gear cut tree with the racket? Because falling leaf, falling, falling leaf motility. It's falling, gear is falling, you know, falling leaf motility. So this was the one. Okay, falling leaf motility here. Falling leaf motility was there. If it's there, that's also right. And you have four pair of flagella, that's also right. So it's all in our previous discussion. We talked about it. So, and again, another thing is it causes the steatoria. I don't know what exactly question has come, but if these things were there, they are right. Picoral root, diarrhea, falling leaf motility, four pair of flagella, tennis racket appearance. Okay. Of course, tennis racket, we usually study in Clostridium, in the spore, especially Clostridium tertium, tertium RR. Eh? So because of that, you know, we have tennis racket, but another tennis racket is here. Uh, what you do, even for further future exam, remember, gear ka tennis racket sab kya karo ki? Gia tree ko, you are hitting it, falling down. So gear will gir jata hai. Gia will fall down, falling leaf motility. Okay. Tennis, tennis racket. Another tennis racket is your terminal spore that is in your clostridium tertium. Okay. Tertium. Also clostridium difficile in some cases, but for uh, most commonly asked is tertium only. Okay. Tetanus drumstick. So that's what we are revision is all. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is the first question. This was the first question about Gyaria. So I, I hope you guys did right. Prosthetic wall endocarditis. Prosthetic wall endocarditis means itself, you should know, it should be either uh, endocard infective endocarditis. Infective endocarditis, you know, overall most common, if, it, if the question is like native valve, the questions can be native valve, native valve endocarditis. Yeah, native valve endocarditis or it could be prosthetic wall or it could be prosthetic valve endocarditis or a damaged valve, you know, any damaged, damaged valve endocarditis. Okay, any of this question. When it is native valve, you know the most common cause is your staph aureus, aureus, you know? staphylococcus aureus, staphylococcus aureus. Prosthetic means any prosthetic or, you know, IV, cannula, catheter, anything foreign body related things you're putting, you know, it is the causative agent is cones. Cones is what? Staphylococcus epidermidis. This is the cones. Okay. When you talk about cones, it means coagulase negative staphylococcus. So, uh, uh, staphylococcus is coagulase positive, staph aureus. If it is negative, then we call cones and epidermidis. So, the prosthetic vulva, the causes, uh, the causative agent is staphylococcus epidermidis. And if it was a damaged wall, if they ask, then you know that is your viridens group, streptococcus viridens, streptococcus viridens. That will go to streptococcus group. Okay. And overall, also, and that is causing what damage, short term, you will have subacute. You will have what? Subacute endocarditis. 
subacute infective endocarditis okay and moreover overall acute uh, any you know acute or any overall most common if they ask it is again your staph or the king of infections okay the king of infections staphylococcus aureus so this time they given prosthetic wall so please be careful if it's a, the next time if they ask you native wall or you know whatever you be careful okay so the prosthetic wall it is the staphylococcus or epidermis okay so if you made a mistake don't worry it happens there are more chances this is going to make you better Okay, it's going to make you better. Again, you have more exams in coming future, so you'll be fine. Okay, so this is the epidermis. This is the one which is causing, if you remember, see here, prosthetic wall endocarditis, all the infection with IV can lock catheter shunts. Okay, got it? Second question. Third question was this question. This question, they, what they've asked is that after penicillin injection, patient developed hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia, the clue which is there, anything related with the blood, you know, anything related with your blood. You know, we said anything related with the blood cells, the, especially RBC related, like, you know, hemolytic anemia, especially with hemolytic anemia, anemia, uh, thrombocytopenic purpura, all this type of anything related with the blood cells, thrombocytopenic purpura, all these things of things, what would, it will be your type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, type 2. Type 2 is otherwise called cytotoxic, yeah, cytotoxic, you know this one. So the shortcut for this was cytotoxic hypersensitivity reaction. The shortcut, if you remember, what is the shortcut? My blood group is orange positive. This is the shortcut. We have discussed it many times. Okay, so this is the uh, thing. So now, so my blood group is orange positive. So you have all these things. So if you remember, H for hemolytic anemia. So any hemolytic anemia, any hemolytic anemia, not only immune, any hemolytic anemia, if you remember, okay, that would be your type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. So your answer is type 2 type 2 hypersensitivity reaction okay i hope it did see but uh, you might have a little bit confusion if you give penicillin injection if they give penicillin injection and if there was an allergy skin allergy then that would be your type 1 this allergy but here they've given directly that the patient got hemolytic anemia so hemolytic anemia will be type 2 only okay so you know that one shortcut is my blood group is rh positive but you know okay that you have to remember all the time okay so we have done so third question is also over okay now next Next question, what's this question? This question, uh, this is fourth question. So this is the type 2 leprae reaction, which hypersensitivity reaction, or I don't know, it is the lepramine test, which hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, so let's, if, it, if they ask type 2 lepra reaction, very easy. See, the uh, okay, how you how to remember, even if you, the type 1 and type 2, lepra ka kitna words, hai? lepra, lepra has five words. Huh? That means we have to complete five. Complete ke kaise complete karogi? Type 2 lepra reaction saath kitna add karna hota hai 5 banane ke liye? You have to add 3. So, type 3 hypersensitivity reaction, total 5 ho gaya na? So, total 5. So, type 3 hyper, type lepra reaction, type 2 lepra is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. What about type 1? Type 1 if you want, type 1 lepra reaction, lepra, I'm talking about this is lepra reactions, yeah, lepra reaction. If you want to make it 5, 5 banana ke liye kitna add karna hota hai? 4 add karna hota hai. So it means type 1 lepra reaction is 4 type of reaction, type 2 is 3. Very, very simple. Lepra, if you forget also leprosy ka, how many percent H2 so 5 percent H2. So the rule of 5, rule of for leprosy, I would simply say rule of 5 is applied. Rule of 5 is applied easily, okay? At least for lepra, because count koro 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ho gaya, 5. So you have to make it complete 5, uske liye type 2 hai to add 3, third episode reaction, 1 ka, 4 add koro 5. So everything with 5 for your leprosy, very easy and sweet. This question might be confusing in your future exam. So INS, whatever exam, for next pattern, if it comes, whatever, or just the need PG, you will never make mistake. It's so easy. Okay, you got it? This one. But if the question, this the answer was type, which type of hypersensitivity reaction, if they say it is type 3, type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. But if it is a lepramine test, if they ask lepramine test, you know that one, lepramine test and your tuberculin test. Yeah, tuberculin. These two tests will come in which one? Type 4, delayed hypersensitivity. So it is type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Delayed hypersensitivity. So that is different one. Delayed type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. So whatever, I don't know, question, what if you if it's type 2, then it's third hypersensitivity. If it's lepramine tuberculin, then it is fourth. Okay, right, that's it. So one question. So now next question. Next question here. Uh, the question was related to post glomerular nephritis. The, I don't know how, what way the question was asked. If they've said cola color urine or hematuria, any word comes like that related to renal. That means related to kidney. Okay. Something related to cola color urine, hematuria, these things are common for what your nephritic syndrome. Nephritic syndrome. Yeah. And the nephritic syndrome, ka, you know, 
nephritic syndrome. And the most common cause of this nephritic syndrome is frequently asked is post-epicocal glomerulonephritis. Okay, post-epicocal glomerulonephritis. And tonsillitis also, they, the question may, the case history may, I don't know how, which pattern they've asked. Tonsillitis means also, you know, which one. So that means, which is the, the tonsillitis is there, that is throat infection. And after throat infection, the patient got autoimmune diseases. So which is that disease? Which is the costive agent? Then that is the streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes is the name, but sometimes that would always tell you to remember. Please remember it's a group A. Group A. Group A. Okay. Group A streptococcus is otherwise called streptococcus pyogenes. And group B is called agalatia. Aga lacti. Aga lacti. I told never A for A. A is equal to not A. A is not equal to A. That's the way you're going to remember. A is always streptococcus pyogens and then B is aga lacti. So here, you know, streptococcus pyogens is a classic feature. You know, the first thing, two infections are common. One is your pharyngitis. One is your pharyngitis infection. And other one is your skin infection. Lot of skin infection. Yeah. Your cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis, uh, erysipela, all those infections. So what happens? This is an initial infection. But when you go for autoimmune disease, after repeated infection, what happened? Auto autoimmune disease. This is usual infection. But after repeatedly, when the patient is getting pharyngitis or tonsillitis, whatever skin infects pharyngitis, they are almost same meaning. Autoimmune disease would be what? Either your rheumatic fever. If it is pharyngitis, it's usually rheumatic fever. If it is skin infection, then it's usually post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, even if you forget to say S for skin, but not necessarily. Sometimes pharyngitis people also can have PSTN and skin infection people also can have rheumatic fever. And the disease symptoms and all, you know, I'm not going to talk about. And the characteristic feature is cola color urine. Yeah. And this is the one. If you remember, this is the one. The diagnosis, uh, we have already discussed it in our uh, discussion, old discussion. Remember, anti-DNAs. Uh, B is the characteristic one. If it's high, then it is PSGN. And here it is ASLO titer. ASLO titer is more than 200. That is for your rheumatic fever. Okay, this only. So if the if you had uh, your answer for this, if they asked, if they were asked you etiology, that means it is either streptococcus pyogenes of group A. Group A, sometimes they call gas also. They call it as gas. Okay, group A streptococcus pyogenes. So I don't know what they asked. So your answer should be streptococcus pyogenes if this is the question. Okay, right. Next. They, uh, they told that they asked neonatal meningitis most common cause. Is it so? I mean, uh, if it is asked a direct question. See, always we said you have to remember the most common would be two or top. One, that is the group B, streptococcus. If they have given group B, streptococcus, you know what? Agalati. Just now we spoke about it. Streptococcus agalactiae. Streptococcus agalactiae. Neonatal meningitis curve, the most common cause, followed by Escherichia coli. Escherichia coli. They, move, they both are almost equal okay but overall uh according to many reference group b is dominating still in some book e estrisha call has given but i don't know how they have made this question so if you an option if you had only group is step okay that is fine and i always told you if something extra so I'll, i will brief you here group agalactia tk b4 always remember boys boys ka kya pasand hai do cheez pasand hai boys boys ka specially usko naam kya islam boys boy ka naam hai islam uska kya pasand hai he likes doing camp or camping mein wo kya dekhta hai usually hippopotamus hippurate ha hippo hippo matlab hippurate he likes camping and he likes hippo and camp mein kya lekhe jate orange Orange because uska Islam media hai. Islam media mein orange color pigment dekhega. You will see orange color pigment. Okay, that's it. This much only agalati. No need to worry. It's very easy. Neonatal meningitis. And usually they are all uh, streptococcus. So they are in gram, they are gram stain. There will be uh, chains. Gram positive chains. Cocaine chains. Okay, that's it. Next. Oyster sauce. Yeah, this is very... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Just a second. Fourth question. And this is the fifth question. I make it in order. So let's see how many questions... I come from the microbiology. Microbiology was easy. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys must be happy. Even not, don't worry. Don't worry. Again, I'm saying every time you get a chance to better and better only. So nothing is lost. Okay, nothing is just only maybe you have studied in a different way and there you got confused. That has happened for most of us. So only you have to know next time how to make it easier. Not use it. So see, oyster sauce, fish. This question was come. You know, I without thinking only if I have to think one bacteria, if uh, without any, uh, you know, options, descriptions, you will have options. That's one good thing. If you don't have option also, anything with the seafood, you know, anything is oyster, fish, you know, anything with the seafood, you know, whom I will think, I will think this girl bacteria paru. Bacteria pari or paru. 
you know, bacteria, but we have a, a virus, Paru, that is parvovirus, Chotipari, uh, uh, that is, you know, causing this slap cheek appearance, if you remember, and the smallest one, and it says only single center DNA virus, uh, Ethema infectious. That's the different story. There is a bacterial Paru also. This Paru ka naam hai Viprio parahemolyticus, parahemolyticus. It's very easy and it's very sweet. Parahemolyticus. Okay, Paru. This Paru, remember, like this only. It's easy. Paru has two parties. Remember, Paru is very good girl. She's lucky girl. She has two parties. She attend two parties. You know what are two parties? One party is the swimming pool party. Swimming. Swimming or swarming. I would say swim or swarm, same as. Swim or swarming party. It's me kya hota hai? Tea party. Hai. That is basically a tea party. Swimming pool mein tea party. One is the swimming, swarming tea party. Is the tea party mein kya kya kon kon hai? Uh, Paru with her friend, Paru, Pele Paru, Paru ke saath kon kon, Prochita, Prochita, and uske saath or Saira. Ye char log, tea party. Who are the char log? Parahemolyticus ho gaya, Vibria, Parahemolyticus, and then Prochita ho gaya, Proteus, Proteus ho gaya, Dusra ho gaya, Seresia, and T for T ho gaya, Clostridium Titani. See, I don't need to have any mnemonic, mnemonic, kuch ni. I just only made this girl, Paru, popular. And then everything is there in my mind. Paru's girlfriends, Prochita, Sarah, they're having tea party in swimming pool. So these all are swarming motility. Swarming, one property is swarming motility. Okay? So now you'll never ever mix swarming party. Kis kis ke hota? Swarming tea party. Teen ladki ka hota hai. Vibrio parahemolyticus, Prochita, Proteus, Sarah, Seresia. Okay. okay. And another party, you know, another party where she's having Vibrio, she's having a sea party. C or a beach party, C or a beach party where in a Baga beach, not Baga exactly, Vaga beach in Goa. Of course, seafood means Goa. Goa, Baga ka chod do, Baga ka Vaga kar do. Vagat sumo. Vagat, Vagat su, Vagat sumo. These names are tough. Vagat sumo, meet. Vagat sumo, bladagar. Vagat sumo, bladagar. Take it, sir. Baga, Vaga. Okay, sir. Take it, sir. Yeah, Samaj, yes, sir. Then beach party, then what will happen? In the beach party, there will be seafood, right? So seafood. Seafood means it could be anything. It could be oyster, crab, anything. Any seafood. Okay, oyster, whatever, seafood. Then what will happen? But it needs a company. So in this party, who is the company? Kanaga. Kanaga was her bestie. So what does it mean? What is Kanaga phenomena? Sir, what is this? This is the question you have asked. It looks small. It's so easy. And you have asked every year this one question from parahemolyticals. And we make mistake. Okay. So no, this is not to be made mistake. What is this? What is Kanagawa phenomenon? It's nothing bad. In blood dagger, what you did, you increased the salt concentration. You increased the salt concentration. So that what happened? Your vibrio parahemolyticals will grow in Vagatsumo blood dagger. Blood dagger with increased salt concentration is Vagatsumo. Vagatsumo me, who? Kanaga and yeah, Paru. Both are having what? Seafood. And then they got what? Poisoning. Food poisoning. Bas. It's not easy. Very simple. A tea party, a seafood party, a beach party. Tea party may with the, uh, she goes with the Prochita, she goes with Sara and Crossium Tetan itself. Sea party may she's going with what? She's going with Kanaga. Then who is going to Goa? Mein? Baga Beach is Baga Beach. Nahi, Vaga Beach. Vaga Beach is Vaga Chuma Blood. Agar. Finished? You finished? This is question. So if they are lava, queen is already nita. Up if you have remembered this story, you have got one mark. Easily you got it. Okay. Again, don't worry. This is the way you're going to read. It's very, very simple. You don't need mnemonics. You don't need to use your brain. Just have some clue. You will rock it. I'm sure about it. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Exotoxin. Now, exotoxin. Uh, this question also, I uh, now the seventh question. Yeah, this is the seventh question. Yeah, there's some question related with the toxic shock syndrome. Exotoxin have or are no toxic shock syndrome. For this, if you want to remember, this is a staphylococcus. You need know, a staphylococcus or is a toxin. I don't know exactly what was the question. If it, the question was related to have, always remember have means we told it's a female, a female who is using what? Tampon. Now, female who is using tampons, tampon, she gets what? The staphylococcus or releases the exotoxin have, which otherwise also called toxic shock syndrome toxin and she get toxic shock syndrome so if that was the question i don't know exactly what was asked so these are the clues female tampons and something toxic shock syndrome comes then that is the answer staphylococcus aureus okay that's it this question also done okay yeah now measles i heard someone said the measles ka some clinical part was asked i really don't know this is our eighth question right if i'm not mistaken yes this is our eighth question i don't know what exactly the question was so, measles clinical sign, first of all, the incubation period is 10 days. I, I don't think so they have that question. So, clinical features start at the day 10, exactly every 10 years, day 10, day 10th day, and then 12th day, 
and then would be the 14th day. So what happens? In 10th day, it's just a fever with your three C's. Plus three C's will be there. Three C's what? One is the cough, coreza, cough, coreza, and conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis, right? And day 12th day, you're going to have what? Coplic spot. Coplic spot, that's it. And on the 14th day, the rash starts. The rash starts, right? These rash, what I'm showing in the picture, right? Once again, I'll show you, it'll come again. So you have 14th day, you'll have a rash. So what about this rash? The rash usually starts where? In the ear, behind the ear, behind the ear. And then what happened? It comes and spreads. So it's usually, um, the, the rash is not like uh, pleomorphic. It's a usual, usual, you know, maculopapular rash only. Okay. And the characteristic is in the, it's seen in the hand, palm. Hand may palm and soles. Leg may soles. Palm and soles may, if you see the rash like this, like this. That's it. That is the clue. I don't know exactly what question have come, but please remember the these are the things. They, if they if it is clinical feature, this is the clinical feature. And as a complication, you know SSP. One common complication they ask is SSP. Subscribing uh, sub pan encephalitis. Okay, this is a question. So I don't know what exactly they have asked. And then Warpin Pinkindly cells also. If you do a thing, MNGC cell, you see this much about the measles. Nothing else they must have asked. Okay. Okay, let's uh, hope uh, we'll get better uh, when the call question comes. We'll do another discussion. But now you remember. Okay. Okay. Now next, filarias. Somebody told filarias has come. I don't know how to because many people were not uh, said. Few students said. I don't know in which format they have asked. But if they have asked, this is one of the very simple question. If this filarias and which system is affected, definitely it's lymphatic. That's what we call lymphatic filarias. Lymphatic filarias or elephantias, right? Lymphatic filarias. Filariasis are also called elephantias. They are same. Usteria bancrofti caused by, you know, Usteria bancrofti. And it is the one where all the mosquitoes can cause filariasis. So all the mosquitoes can cause filariasis. But the most common one is the culex. Kuli ka kya hota hai? Kuli, culex ka, kuli ka elephantis aata hai. Because kuli walks without, remember like that, kuli walks without the slipper over him. So he gets what? Elephantiasis. Okay. Like coolies get Japanese encephalitis also. That's another story. Kuli, Kuli, and West Nile fever. But here, if we uh, lymphatic filariasis related, if this is the come. This is the ele typical elephantiasis. And it, you, the, uh, the system of it is lymphatic system or lymph node, whatever the question they have asked. Okay. So if this is the question come, please remember this. Okay. Right. Next. Our favorite question. This question was never missed in any exam. Every time they love this question. So that's what this is. The, this is the pencil shape. You know, pencil shape, right? This is the pencil shape. So I always told you uh, for uh, trico, this is the trichophyton, right? This is the trichophyton. Trichophyton, how to remember, I told, always try to write in pencil first. Try to write in pencil first. Uske baad ta, pencil shuru karo. Always use pencil first. So try, try, try pencil. Try pencil first. Okay, ho gaya? First one. But in the say, last previous FMG, mein, they asked what? Club shape. Ka. This was like this, the macroconidia. Here the macroconidia is pencil shape. There the macroconidia is club shape. Club to always, I told you, club kiske paas hota hai? Who is the owner of the club, South India mein? The most clubs are owned by people named AB, AB Nasser, AB, AB Nasser, na? AB means epidermophyton. No need mnemonics. No need mnemonics. It's very, very easy. You can't remember everything, you know. Don't try. So these are the clues you have. AB, AB Nasser ke paas club hai? So club. So try, always try to write with a pencil. Echo, try, 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 try to break the coconut with what? Dumbbell or barrel. Oh, try, try, trichuris, trichuriaka. That is parasitology. Parasitology, right? That barrel shaped or tumble shaped. Here, pencil ka, try, try. Echo, try, trichophyton. Trichophyton, try to write with pencil. Finished. Okay, you will never ever forget. And other one is, the last one is microsperm. Microsperm ka, I told, always, micro me kya hai? We do spin. We do spinning of all the machines before doing any PC or any procedure. We do spinning. So, micro spin or oh, spindle shaped. Spindish. Otherwise, also microsporum may clue hai. You have microsporum, MS, 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 S for spindle, microsporum. That's it. Macroconidia. Very simple. So, this is always expected question. Uh, even in future exams, doctors, please remember. Okay, very simple. I'm glad this question came and we've discussed many times. Yeah. And identify this. I don't know. This few copy students said this question was there. Uh, it's I, dermat, dermat, I don't know if it's from dermatology point of view or uh, from uh, micro point of view. If it was asked, if it was asked, it's very simple. I'm sorry, it was 11th question now. Yes, it's the 11th question. So this is very simple condyloma acuminata. It can be condyloma lata also. Condyloma 
condyloma or cuminata. So if they've given the word of picture identity, if it's a condyloma, condyloma or cuminata, you know that is always HPV. HPV, yeah, condyloma. But if it is, especially 6 and 11, 6 and 11. But if, it, but if it is lata, if it is condyloma lata, then that is secondary syphilis. Triponema pallidum, secondary syphilis. So I don't know what was exactly asked. Secondary syphilis caused by triponema pallidum. I don't know if it was the costive agent or to identify the disease. But if you find, just remember this. If they're based on the clinical history or whatever, if, if, you know, you have to identify yourself. Okay, so this is easy. Condyloma, cuminal lata. You'll never miss that question. You may answer which should be correct. Yeah, it's okay. Next, HIV patient with TB. HIV patient uh, with a TB. What is the best investigation of choice? Something like investigation of choice. So HIV patient with the TB, usually TB, you know, uh, I don't know what are the options were there. Ideally recommended is gene expert, which is otherwise, it's basically a PCR, right? gene expert, otherwise called CBNAT. CBNAT is cartilage-based nucleotide amplification technique, gene expert or CBNAT. It's basically a type of PCR. This is the right answer. I mean, of course, uh, RNT, according to the WHO and RNTC thing, they are recommending fluorescent microscopy, but fluorescent microscopy is very expensive and you can't, you need expert hands for that. So you can't do. So easy one is gene expert, gene expert. Any sample, extra pulmonary, whatever comes, you just put it, take the tissue and send it to a CBNAT, you will get accurate result. So this is very good one. Otherwise, of course, you know, if the TB kill you, other tests, you know, microscopy, we can do acid first staining, and then the cultures are there, you know, culture may you have what? Uh, solid culture like LJ media, or if it is automated culture, back test, midget, those things. But I don't know exactly what question, what format they've asked. So this, if, if you had CBNAT, then that is right answer. It's right. Okay. HIV patient with TB, which is the investigation choice and whatever clue given, gene expert is best answer you can choose. Okay. Now, this question was asked. Uh, treatment of the baby. I'm sorry, the questions. I'll just move this a little bit so that. Just a second. Yeah, it's better. I don't want to hide the thing. Yeah. So, the, here this question is look at this question. Here, treatment of the baby born to HIV patient, a HIV also untreated mother. So it doesn't matter, HIV treated or doesn't. 12th question, 13th question now, 13th question. Uh, this is actually Parma question, but of course, nothing wrong because this is something easy. So that's what I like to discuss. The baby born to HIV positive untreated mother, doesn't matter mother is positive or negative. Mother is HIV positive means treated or not, it doesn't matter. The treatment is nevirapine. Nevi, ra, pine. And that means neonates ka neonate. You have to give neonevirapine. Neonate HIV positive. HIV positive mother's baby with neonate. You have to give nevirapine syrup. Usually it's in a syrup form. Yes, we have to syrup for six weeks. You will be giving for minimum six weeks. This is the answer. If you have nevirapine, then that's the right answer. Okay, that's the correct answer. Okay. Now, next one. HIV patient with diarrhea, HIV, so HIV a lot of, uh, you know, decent question, you know, three questions almost come from HIV. So this is the 14th question now. Now 14th question, uh, here, what is the question? HIV patient with diarrhea, which stain is used? Which stain is used? That was the question, which stain is used? Okay, so here, HIV patient with diarrhea and which stain is used? So which one, which one we are going to use? You know, HIV patient diarrhea most common cause is what? Cryptosporidium. We discussed many times, right? repeatedly as cryptosporidium. Otherwise, most common followed by, uska, you know, other uh, uska friends, cyclospora or isospora. Asisto, isospora, same, isospora. Okay, these things. So, you know, these three organisms are otherwise called what? Acid fast, acid fast, parasite. Acid fast, parasites. They are acid fast parasites. So, acid fast parasites, parasite means the stain should be ZN. ZN staining or acid fast staining. I don't know exactly which one was given. This is the right answer. Zeal Nielsen or acid fast. And if they ask percentage, it should be one percentage. We just had this question revision a day before the exam. If you remember, image-based questions may we just discuss this one. Many questions, of course, we discussed has come. Thanks, thanks to God. Uh, I'm really happy that, you know, most of the discussed revision questions have come. I'm really glad. Uh, but I hope it was, you have utilized it. Yeah. So these are the, this is the cryptosporidium. This is crypto. Cyclo, iso. 
So they are the things we have discussed. And so if these things are acid first time. Okay, got it? Yeah. Now, treatment for, again, it's a parma question, but because it is also uh, our topic, microca. So next is 15th question. So 15th question. So CMV retinitis, we know again, in, again, this is HIV. Most common cause of uh, uh, retinitis, HIV, CMV retinitis. The treatment is very easy. C, co, thoda, alter, karo, it will become G. So answer was GAN, GAN, cyclovir. GAN, cyclovir. So I, okay. GAN, cyclovir. Okay. GAN, cyclovir. Okay. Otherwise, FOSCAR not. I don't know what was there. FOSCAR not. Okay. Ideally, CG, this is, if this is given, this is the right answer. Okay, if that is, uh, I don't know what options, but both are right. Gansiclovir, Foscarnet. Gansiclovir is resistant, then Foscarnet. We don't use Aciclovir. Okay, Aciclovir is not used. So this one. If you got this question, then that is one easy. You made it right. And someone tell about the mass. I don't know. Few students said this. If you have got this question, okay, it's all discussion only, so nothing to worry. So this is more ENT. Uh, but if it is from the microbiological point of view, there's a mass, nose, and mulberry. Mulberry or otherwise strawberry. Doesn't matter. They are the same. Mulberry or strawberry. And I don't know if the picture was given. If the picture was given, this was the picture. It looks like a strawberry nose. And we know it very well. That is renosporidiosis. Renosporidiosis. I always say that renosporidiosis. Sporidiosis means it's a strawberry. S for S, S for strawberry. Strawberry, mulberry doesn't matter. Okay, remember. So it's caused by renosporidiosis, sea berry. Renosporidiosis, sea berry, sea berry. And uh, one characteristic feature is that uh, in reno, uh, in a uh, renos it comes under which one? Your subcutaneous fungal infection, subcutaneous mycosis or subcutaneous fungal infection. So remember that is MRCS. You have to learn MRCS to know about subcutaneous fungal infection. Okay, so it's make clear R for renos I don't know exactly what can come, but this is the uh, I think this is the answer. Okay, right now seventeen question. Argyl Robertson pupil, uh, again, I don't know what they asked I, in an ophthalm point of view or in a, in a microbiology point of view, but the clue is, you know that Argyl Robertson pupil is seen in syphilis, especially in tertiary syphilis, tertiary syphilis, because the complication, the CNS complication. So what happened? Clue is already there. Otherwise, also called prostitute, prostitute pupil, prostitute pupil, they call, right? Prostitute pupil. Clue is already there. A for accommodation. Accommodation, R for reflex, P for present. Accommodation reflex is present, but no light reflex. Got it? Very simple. If this also, if you don't remember, I have to remember prostitute people. Prostitute ka kya hota hai? Prostitutes life or so sad life. They have to always, you know, accommodate with the customer and etc. So they don't have light in their life. They can accommodate with any customers, prostitutes, but they will not have light in their life. They are sad. Okay. This is another clue. Okay. If you want to remember. Yeah. Now, 18th one. This is interesting. Uh, this, I don't know if you discussed or not, but uh, even if I missed in previous this thing, uh, you must, it, it was not in our, uh, uh, the discussion part, I, I never talked about it, but Usually what happened, primary effusion lymphoma, the, I don't know, HHV-8 causes or what was the clue? Answer is HHV-8, human herpes virus 8. 8 ka usually one thing you never forget is K. K for K ko aise, K bar sate ho, K ko art bana sate ho, na? You can make K as art, so art, so that is Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma, one thing, K. K also not K, K ko ka bar sateo, Castleman disease, Castleman disease. Ye to TK sir, but ye aya nahi hai, Kaposi sarcoma hai to, we would have marked, we would have not made a mistake, ye aya nahi hai sir, phir kya aya, 8 ka, 8 ka kese likho ge, you going to write it at E, I, G, H, T hai na, 8 to 8 hai, so 8 hai to A mein kya aana chahiye, effusion aana chahiye, so effusion lymphoma, effusion lymphoma, got it, effusion lymphoma. E for it. So this was there. So this was there. If you forget also, no problem. You can expect this question in upcoming exams. So that is HHP 8 Kaposi sarcoma. Right? Okay. Now this question was there. This question also we discussed just before the exam day. We discussed and it has come. Okay. So we have expected the questions only always. Yeah. Right. So now this is the 19 question. So former trauma ulcer identified. So in trauma ulcer, so this is the picture, same picture I explained in our 
the day before image based also i explained this question so see here i don't know what question you got the patient the farmer he had a trauma ulcer and then they have they, are, they have done staining of that uh, tissue or whatever and then this picture i don't know which picture was given if it is this picture look at this picture like this okay it will fit acute with septate you know acute with septate acute with septate hyphae acute with septate hyphae clue is already there you already found it what is that that is as per jealous. if this was you're lucky you got it excuse me but same thing not acute sir acute neita it was it was not septate it was not first of all it is not septate and it is right angle like this if it is right angle you know right angle excuse me right angle not septate non septate or aseptate whatever aseptate non septate means same or right angle then that is your mucor or zygo mucor or zygomycosis whatever okay mucor as i told you matlab mota mota zayed mota zayed zaman kuch bhi anything with zaman mota zaman hai inka kya nahi shape nahi hai septa bhi nahi hai shape nahi hai bada bada wide hai you can see here wide septate broad wide septate okay broad or wide septate the non septate uh, wide hype, I should say wide hype or wide angled hype. Everything is right. Anything wide, non shape, pura aga, zaman mukar ka. So if the answer was, if it was acute septic, then it's aspiration with the right answer. Okay. Yes. Now, saddle nose. Saddle nose ka, I don't know uh, in which perspective they ask because students haven't given me full uh, information. But whatever I got it, saddle nose deformity, if it's from microbiological point of view, I can tell. But uh, the saddle nose can happen even in. And cancer, any cancer related to nasal, nasal bone or a trauma injury also it can happen. But from this point of view, if it is, uh, if, uh, if it depends on the history, one could be leprosy, adult patients or leprosy and other one is congenital syphilis. In congenital syphilis, it's very common. You get this saddle nose deformity. The nose has become like a saddle. I don't know what exactly. So please find if it's leprosy again, it would be lepromatous leprosy, very common deformity. Okay. In congenital syphilis, apart from the, the this one, you have snuffles, saber tibia, uh, uh, sorry, saber shins, uh, saddle nose, all these things comes here. So please remember, I don't know, you have to think what it is exactly. Okay, call the toxin mechanism. Yes, was again frequently asked question. This was something which would have not been missed because one toxin, they always ask is call toxin. So you can always say question. So call toxin has two fragments, fragment A and B. B for binding, A for action. Right, A for action. So actually, what it attacks, I always say, Viba, uh, Viba, you know, Viba, yes. Viba, she's fit. Because why? Viba, darling. Viba, darling, darting motility. Viba, darling, that is a big story, easy story. Viba, darling, darting motility. What happened? She is a slim, you know, she's slim like a, she's like a Kama. You know? She's like Kama shape. You know, very slim fit girl. You know? Slim fit girl. They say Kama Jesa. She's like a Kama, like this, you know, ball, single ball, like this. So why she's fit? Because she goes to where? She goes to gym. She never misses her. She goes to first class gym. You know, she goes to first class gym. So it was ganglioside GM1 receptors. Ganglioside. Ganglioside GM receptors. GM1 receptor. If this was there, that is the right answer. And after that comes your camp mechanism. You know, camp may, you know, all the clue. Cholera. Anthrax, pertussis, E. coli, ulta, karo, E. coli, all those stories. Camp. Camp AC, yeah? Camp or AC. This is fine. But uh, usually they asked this thing last time, but now there was GM1. So GM1 gangbuster receptors is the right answer. If, if you got this, very good. Okay, right? Yeah. That's it. Right? Yeah, we are done. So, students, this was 21 questions. So, uh, let's see if more question comes, then I'll try to uh, uh, compile everything and make it in a layer format. We'll have one discussion, definitely. And all the question, everything was discussed, nothing out of uh, thing or whatever. So, please, uh, even if you made mistake, no worries. Please don't get, don't feel bad. You work very hard. No one is going to say anything for you. I understand. I understand from your point of view. Uh, my friends have cleared. I didn't clear. Or my parents are saying these things. If it happens, please, please, please. Let's be positive that you will clear the exam. Even if it is not, don't do anything. It's okay. One time you left. This time you know how to read. Get better. We are all are there to help you. Make it so easy for you guys. So you will rock an upcoming exam, INICT or next whatever comes. You guys are going to do great. Okay. So thank you so much. See you soon in the other uh, different classes. Uh, we will uh, meet again soon. Okay. Thank you.